99.9 FM. Two raging questions that need answers to. Who buries the former Minister of State, millionaire and industrialist Mr. Patapa, and who inherits his properties? The fight is between his two wives. One former Auntie Beatrice, married for 40 solid years, and the other, yeah, his most recent wife. She was actually with him when he died. Her name is Madame Francesca. They'll both be represented by two of my guests in the studio. In the meantime, look out for that big opportunity to win yourself a hundred thousand dollar series and the jackpot one hundred thousand. It's real simple. Pick any six numbers between one and ninety nine. Now you stick just one gala series. If the six numbers you chose tally with the six numbers drawn, you could be jollying along with hundred thousand gala series. Stick small, win big. Now. Back to Mr. Patapa, the big issue, his death, the burial, and the big inheritance. No doubt, Auntie Beatrice should bury Mr. Patapa. She has a moral right over all his properties. She has been with him from the very beginning. When he was a bicycle repairer by the roadside. And they have two sons. You know? Was! Hmm. Why not go? Auntie Beatrice was his wife for 40 years. But Francesca is his wife. And there's a difference between moral right and legal right. Why should that home wrecker, Madame Francesca, who has been married for just one year, get all the properties? She's doing magic. Mr. Costa, please. Madame Francesca is only demanding what is right. She's yeah. doing magic. Please. No. <laughs> Lizzie, this man. Mr. Patapa. Yes. He died without a will. He has two sons with his former wife. Auntie Beatrice. Yes. The woman he married recently. Madame Francesca, my aunt. Yes, yes, her. Uh, with whom he has no children. So, why? Mr. Tumi, mm. why should his new wife, Madame Francesca, bury him? Does she have to get all the money after just one year of marriage? Please, take the money. Next time, pay your rent on time. Hmm? Macho? Yes. Maybe Madame Francesca was his legal wife when he died. Do you know what the law says on that? Mm. Mm. Oh, Mr. Tumi, I hope you bought my little something that I brought to your house yesterday. <laughs> Prophet Dazi. Yes, I got them all. And uh, how is your beautiful daughter, Abna? My dear, whatever the law states, Mr. Patapa's body has been lying in the mortuary for the past three months. Bury this man and give his properties to the states. To the states? Yes. Once AJ pounds, I'm here. <laughs> give it to me, my dear. Give to Ajua, what belongs to Ajua. Eh? And I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> It's Mr. Togba. So who is going to bury Mr. Patapa? It depends on who Mr. Patapa's family supports. Who? Patapa family supports Auntie Beatrice. Patapa's family supports Auntie Beatrice. The former wife is bury Mr. Patapa. By the paper Say 
love me Baby say you love me I go hold you down If you say you want me Bless your mom But call me daddy Come spend this morning Abla, please This is the only way I'm, I'm leaving you Later. Look, I know you don't like what I'm doing, but it's the... Abna. Abna I find I always am. Why are you here, Kra? Um, please, I, I want some guidance. Blessing. That is what I'm here for. Beautiful Abena. Come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Beautiful Abena. as our daughter-in-law again. Then you'll have to accept all of my conditions without questions. You have no choice. This wedding cannot take place anymore. Please, it's... Um, is love. Have you fought and with I my daughter? The love of my love Tomorrow, to Macho and I are coming for the rent. Has your money arrived from abroad? Just do it. Come back here, Joe. Tell her exactly how you feel. Ah, Come on, let's get in the car. I want you out of this house. Why should we leave the house? This house was bought with the money I gave you for dowry. Hey, Joe! Joe! Hey, Joe! What are you paying? Hey! Hey, Joe! Shout for 
101.9 FM. News just in. The Patapa case takes a shocking turn. Auntie Beatrice, supported by Mr. Patapa's family, have come out to make an announcement. Due to the faulty air conditioning in the mortuary, we have decided to speed up the burial of my late husband, Mr. Patapa. Three months is a long time to keep her body. So, we have decided to bury him um, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Hey, no further questions. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? This news has shocked so many people, including Madame Francesca herself. She's actually on the line. Let me put her through. Hello, madam. For the air conditioning, my foot. I will never allow this old egg. This Auntie Beatrice, the true sorcerer, the femme, I'm telling you, she is devious. I will never allow this old egg claim my properties. Now get off my phone because I have things to do. Okay. Okay, madam. How dare she, this old egg? Mm -hmm. Old? The switch of a woman, Madame Francesca. It's going to try something funny. Yes. We must prevent her from coming even two inches near your father's body. Ah. Yes. What how? Ah. Ah. I don't know what I'll do without you. Who is that? Why is the person calling at this time? It's Madame Francesca. Elizabeth. Hello, Madame Francesca. Darling, listen. <laughs> No need to call me Madame Francesca, okay? I'm your auntie. Yes, Madame Francesca. It is Auntie Francesca, Elizabeth. Auntie Francesca. Elizabeth, I have a very small favor to ask of you. I don't know who else to go to. Anything for you, Madame. <laughs> Auntie Francesca. Good. I thought that was Madame Francesca. Then you pay. 
Give. Give from the bottom of your heart. Give that your children will benefit from the love you show to this church. My wife, God keep her soul, was a cheerful giver. So when you are going to give, I want you to give with all your heart from down there. Give. Give a lot. Amen. With your contribution, I'm going to build a bigger and better church so that we can worship in a better environment. Give. Give with all your heart. Listen, there is blessing in giving. And giving is the blessing. International Love of Incorporated. International Church of Love Incorporated. Blessings forever. Where are you? You're going to have to change your ways, Joe, else you lose me. Abna, I'll change. I'll change. Please just come back. Will you stop that nonsense? Come back. Hey, I'm going to get out of here. Abna, I'll change. Eh? I'll do anything that you want me to do. I'll do. I'll work. I'll work hard. Abna, you never have to worry about money again. No, you need to pay our bills. Abna, please. Please just come home, I love you. Give me. Take his phone. Oh, give me my phone. She paid last month's rent. Yes, she's not owing. Your money, hurry up. Mm. Has your money arrived? And the six month rent. Hmm? Please. Abna, she has, she has been missing since yesterday. What have you done with my Abna? Huh? Macho, lock the house. Joe, 24 hours. Huh? Find my daughter. And the six month went. Or I will report you to the police. Macho, slap. Uh, sir, sir. No bother.
Would you like to make some money? Would you like to make some money? How much? You don't care what the job is? Come on. Me, yeah, I need money. Oh, perfect. So it's a deal. How much? Oh. Listen, I'm getting 5,000. So I'll give you... Half. So much for honesty. Half, really? I mean, you were just about to kill yourself on the tracks, and now you're negotiating for 50%? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. 25%? 25%, that's good. Madam, do you go around just offering money to strangers? Please, please. 25%. 40%, as soon as the job is done. You know what 40% of 5,000 is, do you? 2,000. Oh, okay. Oh. Fine. It's a deal. Good. Now you can back off. Come on. Come, come. Have you heard of Mr. Kata? Yes, the, the late millennium Mr. Kata. Oh, I'll call you back. <sighs> Mr. Patapa's body is supposed to be in here. Do you know Auntie Beatrice and Madame Francesca? Yeah, uh, the former and, and current Mrs. Patapa. Good, 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 good. So Auntie Beatrice doesn't want Madame Francesca to stop the funeral of Mr. Patapa today. So she came up with this master plan to get a decoy hearse to transport the body of Mr. Patapa to their cemetery. So she hired my father's company, Final Journey Hearse Services. So where's the body? I'm landing, I'm landing. Okay, so I was driving the body, I, I mean Mr. Patapa's body, to the cemetery when I stopped to change my clothes. I'm a nurse, but that's another story. Here for introductions. This body is for Madame Francesca. Let's go. Madame, no! Hey, no! A hey, woman hey, driving a hearse. I be wonder. Woman with a dead, dead body just like that. Well, if they can give birth to living idiots like you, of course they can drive dead bodies. Come on. Who organized the smoker? Madame Francesca. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Move, move. Take it back. Yeah. Woman, go back here. Oh. Come together, madam. You know, yes. she have a call. Thank you. Yes, Elizabeth. Um, the body cannot fit in the taxi. What? Can we bring it in the hairs? Peter, is it fee? Listen, do I also have to think? Think for you. Do you not think that the entire family of Madame Beatrice, that old hag, will not be looking for the hair? If the coffin is not fitting into the taxi, you take out the body and push it into the taxi. Madame Francesca, it's your late husband. We have to respect the dead. Elizabeth, do me a favor and please just bring that body to me because it is my husband and I decide exactly what to do with his body. Now you need to be very careful because those foolish people shall be looking for the house. Madame, Madame Beatrice is such a mysterious woman. Please just hurry up and just bring that body to me. And please, Elizabeth, do not think too much. It is really not good for you. Yes, Madame Francesca. Take the body out of the coffin, cover it up, and put it in the taxi. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Oh, 
money. So, so what do you want for this? Listen, I've done the search. Five and a half hours. That's what it takes for someone to survive in a coffin. But I promise I, I will get you out in 30 minutes. Yes, but only for 30 minutes. Then I will come and I will remove you, will replace you with Mr. Patipa's body, and done! Please, put some stones. No, stones doesn't feel like a body. It will shake and move like the body's been cut into pieces. Don't get suspicious. Look, 35, 35 missed calls. We're running out of time and we had a deal. What if they open the coffin? At this very moment, Mr. Patapa and his former wife, Auntie Beatrice's family, are all waiting for me at the cemetery to bring this body. If they don't have a burial today, I am going to be in so much trouble, so much. Especially with my father. So I am willing to take that chance. Please. I am begging you, please. 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 Good luck. But we had a deal! I found the one my heart loves. Songs of Solomon 3, 4. That's the verse I was reading the day you walked into church. Seriously, Joe, when are we getting married? As soon as my money arrives. And then we'll have a big wedding. Promise? First John 2, 3 to 4. For whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God is manifested, and this is how we know we're in him. Great. I'll put you in the coffin a few minutes before we get to the cemetery, okay? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, if it's counseling you want, this is what I have for you. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly. Joe or whatever you call yourself. Are you sure you can support her with your meager income? I'm expecting some money from abroad. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful Abena. 
Do you love him enough to want to spend the rest of your life with him? Uh, uh, since my wife passed on 10 years ago, I've never remarried. I have so much love and wealth to share, but with the right woman. <laughs> Are you sure you want to marry him? Is he willing to make you feel comfortable? Treat you like the queen that you are. Look around. A lot of guys just like me who have so much wealth to share, so much more to give. Eh? You're like family to me. Eh? Family? No. <laughs> Take me as your friend. Eh? Um, <clears throat> could you talk to my father on our behalf? He respects you a lot. I should speak to your father on his behalf. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. We'll be there soon. We'll be there soon. What if you leave me in that coffin to die? And you didn't think about that when you were negotiating your share? I'm only doing this for Abna. Who's Abna? Was she the one that you were looking for on the tracks? I thought you were just doing this for money. Please tell me. Oh, I have to say how much I love you. I can only show you. Slap if him. you set a foot in your ah. in-law's place after the day, then I swear, ah. upon our Lord that's watching us, mm. you're gonna see my dead face by tomorrow. My daughter says your money is coming from abroad. Money is very important in a happy marriage. With money, you can buy anything, travel anywhere, enjoy life. I am going to with my future wife. I am immensely wealthy, Mr. Tommy. And uh, trust this marriageable, beautiful, sweet looking lady will not get married to him until then. Um, the money will come soon. What? Uh, please. <clears throat> we'll need a place to stay. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll need a place to stay. Do you even have money for rent? Yes, Father, we, we have money for rent. You want to get married to somebody like that? The money is fab. What is this? Oh, no, he ain't no head machine. Please be patient. It will be here soon. At this rate, there will be no one left for the burial. Mm. Young man, I don't want my funeral to be delayed at this. Oh, where is the body? Where is the body? Ah, Lizzie, I'm hungry. I'll be home soon, dear. After delivering, Mr. Patapa. Delivering from what? He's dead. I am hungry. I'll be there soon. Small for the boys, something small, eh? If you don't move from here, eh? Oh, eh? madam. If this you don't one, move from here, eh? Madam, this one, something small. Ah, something. Oh, no, no, no. Just talk of you, no, by you. This morning we do work. What do you have to
Get out. Out. Only Jojo is supposed to sit in the car, okay? Jojo sits. Okay, you can drive. How did you lose this, Abna? Come on. You know sharing reduces the pain. Will we ever get our own car? Oh, yeah. A big one. Air condition. Mm -hmm. Why don't you start a small business? Now you know I can't. Not without my money. When are you getting it? My father keeps asking. It's just the bank. They're delaying me unnecessarily. You have to trust me. And if that doesn't work, my lot of numbers will surely work. True. So true. My hundred thousand will come soon. The truth is, there was no hundred thousand dollars coming from abroad. I never even got to travel abroad. That's where I first saw it, huh? In a church. God was trying to tell me something. Yes. To find a job, to work hard, to stop stealing. Work hard. Work hard. When everyone else around you is taking shortcuts, trying to steal what's yours. Okay. 
The cemetery is around the corner, so come on. Go in now. Are you okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. By the way, my name is Zuri. What's yours? Joe. Joe, it's so nice to meet you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Madame, I think something is mellow. The body needs some fresh air. Stop the car. Stop the car! Your mother and let her know. Hello, mommy. Father's body is here. Just bury him. Bury him before more confusion arises. Hey, a woman driving ahead. Say that one more time, and you'll be the one in it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, sweetheart. A woman driving ahead. Don't mind her, she's not correct. Huh? How can a woman drive a hearse? I heard that. <laughs> Dear Lord, we commit the lives and the lives of our brothers into your hands. We pray that the old has gone and that you welcome <laughs> the new into your paradise. <laughs>
You know, every morning, I wake up hoping to make it up to my father. And this morning was no different. Please go inside. Okay. New Life Clinic. My name is Auntie Beatrice, the former wife of Mr. Patapa. Oh, Mr. Patapa's former wife. Is that the New Life Hair Services? Oh, the final journey hair services. We share the same number. So your father, Dr. Texan, he owns a clinic and a hair service. The hair service belongs to my grandfather. My father's just running it out of obligation. But that's not the point. I want your body transported, but I don't want anybody to know about it. Can you do it? I'm sorry. Our hair is not available at the moment. We don't have a driver. <sighs> there was my job. Yes, Auntie Beatrice. How can we help you? Oh. Okay, no, 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 we'll, we'll get you a hearse as soon as possible. Okay, let me just take your number. Just one second. Okay. Okay? Perfect. We'll call you back very soon. Okay. Don't you hear? There's no driver. <sighs> Wait! Dr. Texan is seeing a patient. Father, we need a hearse to convey your body. Don't you see I'm with a patient? Uh, no problem, doctor. I'm okay. We don't have a driver. He's gone to some funeral or other. Hi. I'm Moshi. Maybe Jojo. Look, we don't have a driver, so we can't send the hearse. But I'll drive. No, you won't. Take my car. Father, please. I said no. Take my car. It's very manageable, just like me. Out! I think I'm going to need a new CV. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shh. Good luck to change your clothes. When Auntie Beatrice offered me 10,000 to convey Mr. Patapa's body through the back door, I accepted. Hoping that in some small way, in some small way, I can, I can use it to make it up to my father. Now look, there's, there's no money, there's no body. So what's next? Call my father. I told you not to take that hess. What? You lost whose dead body? Hey, dead body. And who is Mr. Patapa? The millionaire. The one the two wives are fighting over. I want you to get back to the clinic right now. Dr. Auntie Beatrice insists on speaking with you. And who is Auntie Beatrice? That is Mr. Patapa's former wife. Now what am I going to tell his family? I'm so sorry I, I let you down, Father. Zuri. Body or nobody, get back here now. Hey, there's a dead body walking somewhere here. I cannot go back without the body. I just can't. So when do I get my money? Money. Now. The plan was simple. I bury you. I collect the money. I get you out. Then we go and look for Mr. Patapa's body. We bury him, and only then do we share the money 60-40. Oh, but no. You decided to achoo, achoo, like a freaking constipated frog. <sighs> I mean, did you see me collect money from anyone? Did you? No. So how do you expect me to give you any money? <sighs> but you know what? You will help me look for Mr. Patapa's body. Only then will I give you money. And two, and two, just one job. Well, I don't know. Just keep driving until we hear something. Shouts for a 
101.9 FM, welcome back. And here's the latest on the Patapa burial. There was pandemonium at his funeral. Now, although mourners say they saw the coffin move, there's an eyewitness who says he saw a body rise from the grave. Yes, rise from the grave. The opposition MP for the area is saying that he blames it on the ruling party. Why? He says it's a ploy to get them to scare people from burying their loved ones there, just so they can sell the land for developmental purposes. But in the meantime, have you placed your stake in the jackpot 100,000 yet? If not, one Ghana city can get you 100,000 Ghana cities. Small stake, big win. Stay tuned. Please, can I use your phone? Still no news from the bank. Lottery isn't going to save us, Joe. And those things you do on your computer, the police will... Get serious, Joe. What's all this? What's all this up now? Where are you from? It's from Prophet Dadzi. He just happened to pass by my shop and decided to drop me. Joe, you know he's a family friend. I have told you, I don't like him! I've told you I don't like him! I've said it! When are you starting your business, Joe? Is there any money coming from abroad? I trusted you, Joe. I, I lied to my father just so we could live together in his house. And I'm wearing your promise ring. I have to change. Give up now, good life. And I have to find Mr. Fatafa. So now I want more. What? I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Fine, 2,500. 2,500, and that's my last. And I'm only doing it because of your Abna. 40% of what you, you are getting. Uh, and 40% of 10,000 is 4,000. So much for, for honesty. So I lied. So what, you're a stranger. And you, you lied to, to your Abna too. I'm hungry. Are you, are you kidding me? Now! Why not? Oh. Oh. Where have we stopped? Madam Elizabeth, please. We are very hungry. Yeah. We have a dead body in the car. Madam Elizabeth, we've not eaten since morning. I feel dying. Oh. Madam Francesca gave us some croissant, something, something. Mm. It didn't for our stomach cry. Oh, no. You stay here. Ah, but I'm hungry too. I'll get to take away. Okay, don't let them add mayonnaise to the salad. If they can separate it for me. Lizzie? Lizzie? Why are you not back? I'm getting you take away. Take away? Oh, Lizzie. You know I love only the food that you cook. I'm sorry. Uh, madam, instead of the salad, 
Let them add more coleslaw. Who is that? One of the guys, Madam Francesca, gave me to escort the body. Hey, Lizzie, you are there with a macho man. There are three of them. Three macho men. Ha, huh? Lizzie. I want you here right now, or else you can find yourself another husband. Uh, madam, please don't forget what I said about the mayonnaise. That was Oh, there be there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wake up every morning trying to make it up to your dad? Do I look like someone that wants to share their problems with you? Do I? Daddy, what about my hair? Girl is supposed to do her own hair. Jojo, my boy. You're looking handsome. Where are you going? Sit down. Girls are not allowed to play football. The dead body that is the question everyone is asking here's an exclusive from loud tv let's talk to auntie beatrice you see how low some people can get huh? for the sake of money they are willing to bury a live person they put a live person in a coffin can you imagine hey 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 that woman is a which is yes. really that one who calls witch. herself Madame Francesca. Is stealing the body the only way to resolve this issue? Uh, Mademoiselle, to you and to your viewers, I must say one more time that I am his current wife and I have not stolen anybody, even though the body is mine. Not Francesca. I have never stolen anybody. Oops, pardon. Jamais. Who is telling the truth? And who is not? She is the one. Most importantly, 
Where is the dead body? Hold on. We just have some news. A man has reported seeing Mr. Patapa's body in a taxi around Macho Daddy's restaurant. Matt, Matt, Matt is sitting next to a dead body. And according to his lawyers, this divorce is going to cost an estimated $6 billion. Another person running for his life was his passenger in a taxi in Accra, the capital city of Guyana. I beg your pardon, that would be Ghana. Matt, Matt, Matt is sitting next to a dead body. Oh, Matt, I nearly felt dead. I've never run in my life before. Today, dear, more than same month. What is it, Ravi? Why are you looking so worried? The money I went to arrange for this big contract today, I wasn't able to get that money. A very big fraud has been committed, sir, because Pinto is the manager of this event, and he has come here. Abner. Oh. Prophet Daz has been asking of you. A beautiful Abana. You need blessing, you need blessing. Let me bless you. Ow, 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 ow. You, you want to not die on that low. Do you know how much money I have? What? Do you want me to get Macho to fix him? No, I just, I just want Drew back. Folks, just still tune in to Shout 41.9 FM. The saga on the case of Mr. Patapar continues. We are lucky to have Inspector Tobo in the studio with us. Inspector, please tell us. And Corporal Larry, too. Corporal Larry. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Inspector, can you tell us how close are you to finding the body of Mr. Patapar? Close. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> yeah, be a bit more specific about what you mean by close. No. That's a tough secret, <laughs> you know? So we'll definitely get to that. People say you use unnecessary force. Just last week you shot an ordinary pickpocket who stole just two cities. <laughs> that was a mistake, you know? Uh, the gun just fired by itself. That was a mistake. <laughs> two cities or two million cities. A criminal is a criminal. <laughs> you know, the only thing you need to know is that the people who took the body of Mr. Patapa are going to regret it. That's all. <laughs> you heard from the man in charge, Inspector Togbo, the man who doesn't mind taking a life for just two Ghana cities. So we can all imagine what he'd do in a situation where there's a lot more money at stake. And keep in mind, Mr. Patapa died a dollar millionaire. Criminals, beware. So the race is still on between the two wives. Who buries Mr. Patapa and who inherits all his properties? Who wins the race? I need to make a call, please. Can you, can you just stop? of Mr. Patapa. You have the body of my late husband. Where is it? You are keeping the body of Mr. Patapa until we pay you. Are you mad? I report you to the police. Yes! Fine. Enjoy the rest of your court cases. I'm giving you one minute to think about it. It's not going through. Where is it 
Listen, I've got to have a go and change it. Yeah, change it. Elizabeth, where are you? How far have you reached? We've got a puncture. We're stuck here. Elizabeth, it is very simple. Just bring me the body. Nichu mo bibio pe onyefe. Femu ya ke body aba. Yes, of course. Hurry up. The time is going. Have you eaten? I miss you. And now to we not get better again. Where the man to start the smell. Lizzie, you are trying my patience. How long will you make me starve? I'm coming, dear. Madam. Why is that man asking for perfume? Huh, Lizzie? What are you doing there with those macho guys? If you don't come home, 
Right now, I am going to leave you. Do you hear? <laughs> Madam, now what? What is this? Me, ah. I don't go in the prison. That man is Wahala. Ah. Where madam they go? <laughs> Charlie, guys, me go, me go. Where? Where? Ah. Some uncompleted bitch beat their back there. Maybe just drop the body. Thank Thank you. You. Four one point nine. This is Shout FM, and we have more on the Patapa case. Our sister TV station, Loud TV, uh, had an interview with two tourists who say they took selfies with the dead body of Mr. Patapa in a taxi they saw on the street called Opetiku Street. Wow. Okay, this is so awesome. It happened right here <laughs> on Opetiku Street. Yes. It was a dead body, a and then they were body. saying he was the former minister of state or something. Yes, a minister. Mr. Patapa or something. Pita, 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 yeah, something like that. Yes, I mean, yes. this country is just so wow. awesome! Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned and keep in mind the 100,000 jackpot is still up. Have you made your stake? All you have to do is pick six numbers between 1 and 99. If the same numbers you pick tally with the numbers that are drawn, you could be walking away with 100,000 Ghana cities. So go ahead and make your stake now. We've gone bankrupt. What? Kiaore! Maro Saliko! She's our responsibility! I take the oath. Ah! Uh -huh. That I'll go away from Ragu's village forever. Slap! Just 45 hours left in this place. Ah. But I need to keep it a secret from GD until then. Adam! We need go! Adam, we need go! We go! Hi, hi, hi. I wanna get high, 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 high. I wanna get high, high, high. Hey! High, high, high. I wanna get high, high, high. So high! Ah! So high! <laughs> so high! Let me call the police. Okay. And then we'll get out of here. Okay. okay. Hello? Okay. We, we are willing to give you the money that you want. Why do we, we pick the body of my husband, uh, uh, former husband, Mr. Patapa? And where do we drop the money? What? Google map? Uh, old track. Okay, we'll be there. Hmm. Google map. Leave it to us. <laughs> we shall get them. You leave it to us. I shall get them. <laughs> I'll stay here. Why? You don't want to know. Try me. I did. 
demanded ransom from Mr. Patapa's body. You demanded ransom from Mr. Patapa's body? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'm going to Just leave. You used my number to blackmail them. I blocked out your name. Oh, thank you. Joe, you really don't have to do this. This is my one chance to get my wife and my life back. Or lose both. Mr. Singer, uh, Samrat had recorded an obscene video of my younger daughter. Yet you wear a wedding chain for someone else, and you're having an affair with a man. How dare you have an affair with Samrat? There, I paid you the money. Take it. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm just gonna call the police to come and take the body away. Zuri. What? I want to call up now. Hello? Hello? Abna, where are you? I've been calling you. I miss you, Joe. Just go back. Abna, we need money. I just need you to be here. I just need you to be near me. Abna, but... I love you, Joe. Just come back. I love you too, Abna. <laughs> but... Abna? 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 Goodbye, Joe. And good luck. I'm going to shoot him by mistake too. You're still tuned in to Shout 41.9 FM. We have yet another update on the Patapa case. The body of this rich industrialist has been found. In a dilapidated building, a gunshot was heard in that same building, although we still cannot confirm if anyone was hurt or killed. But the question still remains, who buries the body of Mr. Patapa? And who inherits his fortune? Mr. Mushi, I need for you to avoid oily food and alcohol mm -hmm. for the duration of the treatments. Okay? Oh, hello. They found the body. I'm so sorry I keep letting you down. Which body? Zuri. <sighs> Zuri, the beautiful. You've never let me down. Oh, what body? I have let you down. For blaming you and neglecting you. When your mother died, giving birth to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry about Jojo. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. It's I'm okay. sorry. You were just a child. I need you to forgive me. You're all that I have. 
Please forgive me. Lizzie, darling. Promise me you will change you, otherwise I'll leave you. Tune in to Shout 41.9. Now we have in the studio again with us Inspector Tobo. Were you able to at least see the face of the person who came for the ransom? No. no. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's going to went off by mistake. But we didn't see his face. But I saw somebody run away. We always get the criminals. Inspector, thank you very much. In the headlines this morning, the Patapa wives go to court. And we can only imagine what the outcome will be. I was married to that man, my love, for 12 good months. I said my husband for 40 years. One whole year. 40 long years. I gave him everything. Everything of me. Everything. Thing. Only I am part of Dieu. Only Dieu knows. The courts must rule in my favor. You need to give me justice. I want justice. I need justice. Justice. <laughs> Promise me you will change you, otherwise I'll leave you. Oh, 
this part. You can try again. I'm mm-hmm.